so the sperm are produced in the testicles. Mm -hmm. Testicles have two main functions, produce sperm and produce testosterone. Um, based on the sperm production, it happens in the seminiferous tubule, which is this long tube within the testicle that gets round and round and round. And there are these Sertoli cells. The Sertoli cells essentially line the inner uh, lining of the seminiferous tubule, and it acts as a nurse cell. Okay. The nurse cell, in fact, is where those germ cells, the baby sperm, develop from the periphery. And mm -hmm. as they progress along the development of the sperm, it gets closer and closer to the lumen of the actual tubule. Okay. Once it gets to the form of an elongated spermatid, where it starts to look somewhat like what people expect sperm to look into, it gets kind of shunted into the lumen, and then based on the fluidics, will then pass along down as the epididymis, which we would think of as the storage and final maturation unit for where the stuff learns how to swim and where it learns how to develop the ability to penetrate the actual ovary okay. and the acrosome reaction is what okay. we call it. Okay. So you start with a little germ cells, a little round cell, mm -hmm. and that cell divides a couple of times. Exactly. And among that, it, it gets kind of pushed into the middle of a tube mm -hmm. and it starts to grow a tail. Right. But it can't swim. Correct. And then it gets moved into a, an epi the epididymis, which is an, another tube that's bigger. Right. And is so the epididymis is a gland that's just very, very closely associated to the testicle itself. Okay. It, again, very similarly has m tubes like the seminiferous tubules that are closely wound within the epididymis. Okay. And the further along it gets towards the end or the tail of the epididymis, the more mature it becomes. Okay. Um, after the epididymis comes the vas deferens, which is the transit conduit of when people ejaculate, all the sperm exit, and that's how it happens. Okay. Okay. But starting from the testis, it starts as a spermatogonia, undergoes mitosis, then ends up as a spermatocyte, primary and secondary, undergoes a couple rounds of meiosis, and then ends up being a spermatid. Okay. And based on the spermatid, that's where they start elongating or looking more like the sperm compared to a round cell. 